Ja. Let's see if my sound effects are working. Let's see if my sound effects are working. Seem to be working all right. I'm also trying to do a stream on Twitch and YouTube. So we'll see if anyone comes into the chats for either of those. Twitch seems to be going. I don't see the stream on YouTube yet. There it is. Check one, two. There it is. Check one, two. There it is. Yeah. It works. Streaming to two different platforms at the same time. All right. Name something you might need if you're eating a lobster. hear my chest <laughs> all right something you need if you're eating a lobster we should do a game twitch versus youtube that's kind of what i want to do so i'm going to do a couple warm-up questions let people figure out how it works but i think we should play twitch versus youtube we'll see how it goes Top answer is butter. Wait, butter or the crackers? Or the fork? I gotta say, oh, or a bib. I'm going to say... Butter. Yes. Butter. Take the points. Keep going. All right, let's do 19. Name a time of day a person is likely to take a nap. Time of day, I guess the hour. 2 p.m. Siesta time. Go for a double, maybe noon or something like that. I gotta take the points. Noon would have been right, and then 4 p.m. All right. Okay, next. 17. Something a job ad should tell you about the job. You guys can play along in the chat. If I get people playing on Twitch or YouTube, then we can uh, fight you. We can make you go head to head. Something, some, uh, the pay. Do you want to go for a double? The goal is to get down to zero. So, pay. If it's obvious, I'll go for a double. Something a job ad should tell you about the job. Um, responsibilities. Duties. Duties. Title. Oh, see if you go. If you say duties. You get it wrong, you lose all the points. Hours would have been third. So if you get the top answer, the second answer, and the third answer, you would have get 51 points. Would have been down to 30. And the uh, first person team to get down to zero wins, like darts. Okay, let's do a few more warm-ups. 20 is the most. Tell me something a wife likes to hear from her husband. That she's pretty. I love you, crap. Compliments, missed you. Okay. Kind of a sexist answer question. That's okay. Some of these are kind of old. <laughs> All 
All right. Continue warming up. Name an organ <clears throat> people might have removed. Okay. Uh, penis. No. Um, I guess some people do. <laughs> some people do. I'm going to say <clears throat> appendix or what's the other one? Gallbladder? Kidney. Appendix has got to be number one, right? All right, we're going for appendix, kidney, mother pus bucket, appendix, gallbladder. All right, now we know. Okay. Name a type of food that could most easily be turned into a heart shape for Valentine's Day. Type of food. All right, my obvious, my first thought was pizza. But that's usually just my first thought. Cookies, cake, cupcake, muffin, eggs. Any others? Uh, let's go with cookie. Cake, cookies, pizza. I said all those, wrong order. Okay. Still warming up. Name an expensive food that you wouldn't serve at a kid's birthday party. Lobster. But am I only thinking lobster because the last question had it? Caviar. Caviar. I think caviar. Ha. Lobster could be number two. Um, let's go for it. We're just warming up anyways. Lobster. Filet mignon. Lobsters three. Fiddle de fuck. Okay. Still warming up. 18. Name a country that usually does well in the Olympics. USA. China. Brazil. Russia. In the order of, well, Canada. Canada does well, too. Don't forget about Canada, boys. Um, okay, so we've got, uh, we got to go, USA is usually number one, so let's just say that stuff. Okay, then it's going to be China, Russia, Brazil, or China, uh, Canada. China, Russia, Russia, China, Russia, China, Russia, China. I'm just going to take the points because I can't figure it out. Russia, China. There you go. If I wasn't a chicken shit, I would have gotten full points. Okay. Here we go. 81. Name one of Santa's reindeer. Rudolph. Sorry, I'm just messing with the, uh, I'm still testing this stuff. I'm messing with the YouTube chat settings. One of Santa's reindeer. Okay, can we all agree you, uh, Rudolph is number one? Yeah. Okay, after that, what do we got though? We can also take the points. Okay. 
And so, and so. Donner, Blitzen. Rudolph, Donner, Blitzen, Comet, Cupid. Donner, Blitzen. It's got to be Donner, Blitzen. I can't think of any of the others. Rudolph the Red Dog, there was Comet and Cupid, Donner and Blitzen, <laughs> Sammy and Hagar, and Dopey and Grumpy. Okay, uh, I think it's Donner and then Blitzen, but I'm not sure. Let's go for it. Double, Donner, Triple, Blitzen. Whoa! Take at the points. All right. Again, we're going down to zero. If anyone wants to play in the chat, I'm still just kind of warming up, testing this out. But by all means, jump in. Let me know what you think. Okay, next question. Name a way people warm themselves up when they're cold. I'm getting a little chilly right now. I was thinking of turning on my space heater, um, putting on a jacket. Sometimes I rub my hands together or go. I like to do this with my thumbs. I find it really warms my hands up. Um, other than that, Anybody? Jacket, sweater, put on a sweater. Turn up the heat, close the window. There's a lot of options here. Turn up the heat. Blanket. <laughs> I didn't even say blanket. Wrong. Put on a jacket was number two. Rub hands together was three. Wrong. You have to have the right order. Okay. Um, Next. I'm trying to find my video here. Okay, so we're at 30. We can, you need to get down to exactly zero to win. Let's go 15, double 15 for a win, right? Something people put on their french fries, ugh. First one is obvious, ketchup. Or salt. I think we're gonna go for the win and go ketchup. Yes, and then salt. Could be vinegar. Salt for the win. Yes, take the points. Gravy would have been number third. Good Canadian answer. Take the points. Team one, two, three wins. All right, everyone understand? Let's do this one more time. Let's do uh, Bakaruni. That's me. We'll add that. Let's go Twitch. If nobody wants to chat, then whatever. Nobody's in YouTube right now. Nobody's talking in Twitch. Doesn't matter. We're just testing this stuff out. Let's go down to 51 points, make a quick one. But let's also take off infinite questions. So each number is only up there once, okay? Everyone understand? Start. Okay, here we go. Buckaroonie, triple 17 is a win right now. I'll be nice, I'll leave that one out. Let's go for uh, 18. Name something most parents can't wait until their child starts doing on his or her own. That should be his or her. Or there. I'm trying to make these questions. I didn't write all these questions, but I'm trying to make them less sexist, racist, that kind of stuff. Politically correct. You know, sometimes we fall short. Okay. 
Something most parents can't wait until their child starts doing it on their own. Um, wiping their bums. Bums. Laundry. Cooking, food, paying rent, car. I'm going to say bum. Wiping their own ass. Walking. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> if anyone else wants to uh, shout it out, just do it in the chat. No problem. These are supposed to be, you know, big team games that you talk about and come to a conclusion and then shout it out. I used to do these games live in pubs and Christmas parties, that kind of stuff. Uh, but because there are no real event entertainment, we're doing virtual events now. If anyone wants to hire us for a virtual event, go to fatsadyentertainment.com. Walking. Okay. Wrong. Driving and using the bathroom. So bums was third. See, now with this uh, mode, those numbers go away. Okay. Twitch. Anyone in Twitch want to play? Okay. Twitch goes for 13. Something a kid might not be allowed to go in a swimming pool without. Something a kid might not be allowed to go in a swimming pool. Uh, bathing suit. Too obvious. Water wings. Life jacket. Life preserver. Goggles. Kids wear like the water wings. Or a life preserver. Or a floaty. I'm going to say, but bathing suit could be up there. Okay, I'm going to say a life jacket for number one. <laughs> Super faded. Life jacket swimsuit. Okay. Wrong. I didn't write the questions or the answers. These are survey style. So someone did a survey. There you go. I will let you know that they are kind of Americanized or North Americanized questions. Here we go. YouTube. Anyone on YouTube? Go for 12. Some specific food you can get at almost every restaurant. French fries. Hamburgers. Spaghetti. Pizza. Soup. Calamari. No. It's got to be French fries, hamburgers, or pizza. Again, these are fairly Americanized questions. I admit it. French fries. Yeah? Any better guesses? French fries. Hamburger. I bet the next one is French fries. Yeah. Chicken. Just chicken. <laughs> okay bacon all right let's go for the win triple 17 possibly name something that works better on a windy day flying a kite wind surfing paragliding uh peeing with the wind Something that works better on a windy day. Flying your kite, right? That's got to be number one. Kite, great. Number two was not obvious. If anyone has an obvious guess, let me know. Otherwise, I'm taking the points. Windmill sailboat. Taking the points. Okay, Twitch. Nobody's talking on Twitch. There's a couple of you out there. but Okay, 14. Something that grows on trees but isn't fruit. Leaves. Flowers. Moss. Bark. Leaves, right? Yeah. Okay, number two. What's the second most popular answer? Or do we just want to take the points? Okay. 
Take the points. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah, I wouldn't have said nuts. Nut tree. Yeah, okay. Tree nuts. That's the thing. Flowers. I said flowers. I, sh I would have probably guessed flowers was next, but... Here we go. YouTube. Nobody. 19. Name a city that has lots of hotels. Vegas. New York. Paris. Sh Shanghai. Macau. I think Las Vegas. Number two, it's probably New York. Or LA or something like that. Take the points. Take the points. Oh, I would have gotten them all. Didn't need that many points, though. Here we go. All right. 30, pretty close game. Buck Rooney needs uh, 34 points. 17 is gone. Let's take 16. What age might a man start losing his hair? Well, for me, I want to say 30. Could be earlier, though, or later. I don't know. Depends on the guy. Some people, like, lose it at 18. But on average, I've got to say 30. 40. Uh-oh. I'm not even 40 yet. You're saying it gets worse? <laughs> it gets worse. Um... Wrong. 30 was second. Let's listen to some songs. Twitch, what number? Um, Twitch needs 37, so let's go for 7 and then triple 10. Name something black that you associate with Halloween. Witches. Uh, uh, Dracula. Capes. Ghosts. Michael Jackson. Which is cat. Oh, cat. It's so stupid. Bats. Okay, makes sense. YouTube. 32. Okay, let's go for... Is anyone watching? YouTube needs 32. Let's take uh, 11. Type of club, golf club, chicken club wrap, um, country club, golf, golf club. I gotta close the door. Nightclub, gentlemen's club. All right. Buckaroo. Hold on, I'm closing the door. Pick a number. All right. Buckaroo. Oh, it's my turn. Let's go with uh, nine. What might a cowboy have hidden under his hat? Gun, money, uh, cowgirl, stirrup. Got to be gun. Okay, number two is. What else would it be? Money. Knife. It could be a knife. 
Money. Number three. It's got to be a knife. What else could there be? I'm just going to take the points, though. Hair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One more thing. Not if it was me. Okay. Uh, triple nine for the win. Nope. Never mind. My math is poor. 37 doesn't go. Uh, we can go for 20. So you, no use in going for a double in this one because you only need 37 points. Something that comes in a box. Chocolate. Life is like a box of chocolate. Everything comes in a box. Cereal. Amazon. What comes in a box? What have I got around here? My router. <laughs> Headphones. VR. Cereal. Cereal box. Box of chocolates. Chocolates. Me. You too. Triple seven for the win. There's no seven left. What do you want? Ten? How many dates should you go on before kissing someone? Negative one. How many dates should you go on before kissing? I mean, Three, it seems long. Two, yeah, because people don't kiss on the first date. So three is too long, one is too short, two is correct. Okay, um, that was 10 points, I think, right? Oh, yeah. So we could do one more, but then if the one goes, that's it. But it's whoever gets down to zero, so... Might as well go for it. It's got to be one or three. One or three. 50-50 chance. Or zero. One. Drum roll. Oh, shit. 50-50, blew it. Buckaroonie, look at this. Double eight for the win. Name a sign you might see posted in a restaurant. No smoking. Please wait to be seated. Uh, bathrooms. The name. It's gotta be bathrooms, no smoking, please wait. I'm gonna see No smoking. All right, for the win. Bathrooms, or please wait to be seated. Bathrooms, washrooms. In Canada, we call them washrooms because there's no bath in there. What are you gonna go have a bath in a restaurant? No. Bathrooms, for the win. Restrooms, take the points. All right, that's how we play Triv 101, guys. All right. Uh, well, this was just kind of a test. If anyone wants to play, it's at fatcityentertainment.com. I am going to make a Discord server as well so people can join in beforehand. Um, if you want that, you're going to have to message me for the link. And... Yeah, like and share, and I hope it's a fun game, so you can go play it for free, fatcityentertainment.com. And I'll come back and I'll try this again maybe later, and maybe some people want to play. Okay? Adios for now. Thanks for stopping by.